Okay, so we have the Spirit of, whoa, Spirit of Swords, Nine of Cups. Okay, there's a lot of clarity coming in. Oh, wow. So far, so good. We do have the Ten of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands and the Hierophant with the Empress. Okay, so I see you guys are accepting a loss or accepting something that was not aligned to your path. And now you're seeing the truth within something, getting clarity and walking more to your truth, more uh, more down, down your path, your desires, okay? And there's an opportunity here for you. And I feel you centered yourself and you're abundant right now. Even you guys may feel like you're not, it's coming, okay? Because you're centering and you're coming in the Empress, so goddess energy, male or female. Love it, love, love, love. Okay, I have not seen a reading start off like this. So let's go ahead and give this a little shuffle. Yeah, see, the Nine of Cups is your desires, your wish fulfillments, and it's the beginning of a new opportunity here with the Spring of the Spring of Rings, the Spirit of Rings, which is uh, only endurance and productivity. So beautiful. So you guys can be very focused and determined here. Do one more shuffle here for Aquarius. For some reason, I feel like I want to shuffle the cards out for you guys for your reading. You're the only reading I'm going to do this for. So let's see. What's your energy here? Ooh, about to take that risk. Okay, so this is brand new beginnings here. So gaining the confidence to take that leap of faith and taking on a new path here, a new beginning. Yeah, someone here is very, very sad or disappointed about something. This could be the energy you're moving away from. All right, let's see what else we have. The moon. The challenge is everything's a mystery right now, right? Things are happening behind the scenes. This is literally trusting your intuition and the divine that they have your back, that whatever you're feeling is real. Okay, so I love this. This person here or this energy here I feel was very sad. A lot of grief, a loss here to where you're needing to move forward or ready when you're ready to take that leap of faith into the unknown. And what's on the, the unknown is an opportunity from what I see here. Eight of Wands, communication, movement here. Okay, so there's, this could represent really good news with the Eight of Wands. All right, let's see. Let's get more. We have a lot of movement coming in. Lots and lots of movement. The Ten of Cups. Somebody in their head could be seeing you move forward. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I feel they're very crushed. Okay, they're crushed. They're feeling like there was unmet dreams here. Something did not follow through. You know, it could be feeling like something's a, a need to find closure. And they're feeling pretty shattered. I feel like it's because they see you like completely going after your desires or they know that you are moving in a, a beautiful uh, direction here. Huh. I feel like they're mentally still waiting or still holding on to hope. I don't know who this may be, but it's in what your person's thinking or the energy that is thinking. Yeah. And what you don't see coming is probably you know, some really horrible words or maybe somebody acting very um, hurtful or doing hurtful actions. That could be the silent treatment. You know, that could be like a feeling of punishment or just being stubborn and not, you know, expressing their true feelings. Because I feel like this person is feeling out the Ten of Swords. Like they don't want you to go. I don't feel like this person, like they know that you're successful, even though they may not say it. Okay, for some of you guys, you're like, oh, they don't say that. Yeah, but they know internally that you're going to success. And for some reason here, it's like they want control over the situation and they cannot control what's meant for you. So the Ten of Swords is here because there's a feeling of, of betrayal. To them, it's a betrayal of you going after your dreams, which is selfish and manipulative with the King of Swords. I mean, I say manipulative a lot in my readings because kings, of, kings are coming out reversed. And when kings come out reversed or the emperor, that, that is an, a manipulative energy. Okay, so here with the King of Swords, they're like strategizing or trying to like, it's kind of like they're upset that it's not benefiting them in a way. Okay, I'm not sure where this is coming from, but this is what I'm getting for your reading. And there you are, upright, Queen of Swords, being logical, being direct, being clear. Okay, and I love that you're being more stable and genuine 
and you know taking your emotions aside well this energy I feel like you know how to handle this energy because you're already seeing through them as to why you're already like taking that leap of faith or about to yeah see slowly but surely you're going towards your victory you know you're very successful yeah you guys could be going after new love as you're releasing the devil oh my gosh Aquarius Aquarius you have new love coming in you literally have so much fulfillment coming your way you have wishes coming true and it's because there was a feeling of 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 finally accepting or seeing something for what it is right and it just kind of released your mind you know that you couldn't be in the situation you wanted to get out of it right it's like that energy of like i don't want to be in this energy anymore and the moment that you detach from this energy you have all of this abundance coming in for you and i feel like you can you don't even have to be mad or hate this person anymore okay you're at the point where you're just like very clear and direct and like you're not this person's not going to get to you emotionally they're not going to blame you they're not going to guilt trip you this person can't make you even blame yourself anymore so i love this you are going towards <laughs> success you're going towards new love your desires and oh my gosh the spirit of rings which is brand new opportunities brand new love romantic partnerships and it's you loving yourself I mean, there's so, so new found of emotion in this reading and nothing but new beginnings. And we have the devil. Yeah, it's like you had to withdraw your energy to soul search to see what this person was. And the more you got distant, the more you soul searched, the more you, you know, saw this person for who they are, you got all the answers. And that's why this person can't get to you no more. Jeez, I love your reading, Aquarius. Okay, we're about to take that leap of faith, about to take that leap. I feel like a lot of you guys already did. All right, what's this five of cups? This is like kind of like poor me energy from this person. Yeah, they're wanting clarity. They're wanting the truth, you know. I feel like this person may be wanting to, to conversate with you because they're feeling like delays within them. Maybe this is somebody also i'm getting for some is that they need you to give them some mental clarity like more clarity or they want you to tell them what what they want to hear so they can feel boosted in a way i don't really get like it's like ace of swords is a breakthrough okay so you're having some type of breakthrough with this energy and this person i feel wants you to just tell them something they want to hear odd to get that okay what's the fool Mm -mm. you're not doing that though i feel like going more into independence yeah i feel like you were once you know this person could have made you feel very insecure or dependent on them a lot mentally and emotionally and i feel like you're just not wanting to hear what they have to say or their opinions because you're afraid that they might you know kind of um i always use this word cloud your judgment and i'm seeing cloud so I do feel like you're not being wasteful with your energy right now, okay? You guys could be very guarded and what, focusing on your finances are your goals and your desires right now. And somebody wants to communicate, somebody wants to break through. Yeah, freedom. Are you silently moving and surrendering this energy? That's what it feels like. Like you're surviving something. You're like escaping something, facing your fears. It's a feeling of like freedom. Like I'm free, you know, like I'm finally free. So what? <laughs> like you just, this person, yeah. And see, there's some emotional offer here. There's some clarity coming through. Yeah, it's like a fair fight, no more fighting, you know, making amends, making peace with the past, you know, letting go, cutting loose something here. And there's like a new emotion, like a new cup coming in for you. Good news. This person... Could you be moving on with somebody else? Oh, someone's very upset with the King of Swords. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we also have 
the king of swords in reverse with the ten of cups they're so unhappy they're unhappy they could be thinking that you're moved on with somebody else they could be thinking how stable this connection was that you're recovering from them and they're very unhappy that they're acting kind of like the king of swords again their actions are coming in as the king of swords very cold like they're not even being honest with their feelings they could be acting like they don't care very manipulative because they're using different types of manipulative tactics to kind of make you feel guilty or control so be aware of your feelings if you do are in contact with this person or you see how their actions are and they're triggering you in some way that is intentional okay that is intentional let's see what else we have yeah, they're like losing faith. They're feeling sad and lost of this, this, this connection. They're responding to this very negatively, whatever this may be. Okay, is this you loving yourself, going after your dreams, breaking away from their control, the devil ways, breaking away from the chains, the beliefs? Like what is it that's getting this person so angry, right? So you are coming out in the end. <laughs> with the Ten of Cups, Three of Swords, releasing. Yeah, releasing the pain, forgiveness, recovering, emotional and physical healing, okay? This is giving you self-love. There's some type of like feeling of choosing yourself and having a new outlook. This is you fulfilling yourself, okay? There could be a feeling of um, a reevaluation too, like a little bit of like self-doubt a bit okay but i feel like you're at going after your ten of cups because you're seeing clear with this these desires and going after a new opportunity now if this person seems very mad i don't know if they're waiting for you with for an answer i don't know if they because it feels like some of you guys may they may be waiting for an answer and wanting some type of clarity from you okay and it's like you're reevaluating it right like am i am, like fear of making the wrong choice if you you know go your own way or come in with a new love but i feel for a lot of you guys you're going to choose the ten of cups no matter what it's on your path okay so the outcome's beautiful but something needs to be released the devil is breaking free from something breaking free the chains and recovering from heartbreak and betrayal and sadness okay so Let's see what this person has to say. I save your texts and messages. I don't know what you want. I hide my feelings. Exactly. It's like they hide their feelings. Instead, they do other things. You know what I mean? Like other ways to where to show that they care but it's not caring it's coming off like they don't care yeah because you broke their heart their heart's breaking and they know you don't feel the same for some reason anymore because literally you're about to start a new beginning you guys or you're already on a new beginning and they can't handle it i don't know who this is a lot of you they feel like they really wanting to you know they want you back but they don't know what you want like they feel confused they're wanting some clarity with that ace of swords okay so that's for some so let's go ahead and get but you're releasing the devil so that's good you're breaking away from the devil and that the devil's illusions um our cloudiness i'm gonna pull these cards for you guys so you could go ahead and pause the video and then i'll go ahead and pull your so ask your angels a, a question and then i'll pull the cards for you for the answers i'm gonna pull three so, ooh, they already came out. We have take action. You're ready. Ooh, big happy changes. Get more information. Okay, wow. Wow, that is that full energy, like taking a leap of faith. You're ready. Big happy changes ahead. And I'm telling you, like so many things are coming in. I don't know what this devil is, but you know what that is you're breaking away from. And this is just so like amazing for you guys. Some, the universe is definitely pushing you. You are divinely guided. That's all I got to say. Big happy changes. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated and brought clarity. If you do like this message or 
If it resonated in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless.